Hey, look what we're into today. This thing is really a unique looking machine. You don't see them anymore. I don't know the year. Hopefully we can find a, a tag that'll let us know. Uh, it's got a set of 34s on it. I can, I, I, I recognize that, but uh, it's a Kershaw clipper. I don't know what the boom uh, go out to. But I, I just think it's a really a unique looking piece of of equipment. Find up there, man. Yeah, I don't think uh, we don't have to worry about it, huh? It's got some easy steps for you. Yeah, I don't have to worry about walls or snakes. I hope this one's got a key in it, and it does. This one has a key, so I'm sure it's gonna start. <clears throat> I bet it's got a. Here is the operating station to this thing. We got emergency stop. I tell you what, you just ain't gonna roll out there fast, that's for sure. You getting in there? Oh, uh, well, I wasn't right then. <laughs> you won't get in there. See if you can see how many hours is on it. I see the hour gauge right center on the bottom. 13,000 hours. Boy, I'll tell you what they were. 13.66.3. Yeah, they was running it. What is on anything up there say? Uh, engine operating instructions. Okay. Which way the boom, the boom goes with this. Okay. That's in and out. That froze up. No, that's free. What about that side? You had to look straight up in this one to see the trees. Good Lord, have mercy. Now, naturally, it was cleaner than that, of course, but you would, at the end of the day, looking up at, looking up at the top of those trees while you're cutting would probably have a headache or cramp in your neck. Need to go to the chiropractor. It's not like that. Uh, what is that? The, what is that side? Just the same thing. Yes, sir. What? Shit, the throttles locked. No, throttles not locked up either. Are there two separate booms on this one? Uh, well, yeah, it's actually uh, this right here is the top boom, and then that bottom boom right there come up. This thing is get on up there pretty good. The, uh, you know, the other ones that we looked at just got the one saw. This one's got the three. Of course, I did see, uh, boy, it's been sitting a while. I don't know if it shows the justice about the hoses being really weathered, but it's been sitting right here a while. But uh, you see how they got the three saws on these? And I, I don't know if they figured out that the one saw would, would do, but. I did send a helicopter the other day trimming down a power line and it, it was just hanging, something was just hanging on it similar to this. It had like four saws on it. But they was running when one of these wouldn't stand up, I guess. But you got to get those limbs back. So it, I, I don't know just exactly what it does. I don't know if it's they're worried about them falling on the line or if it takes energy from the line or what the reason is about getting them away from the line, but it has a purpose because the utility companies spends a lot of money keeping them trimmed. But as we talked about earlier before, this, this boom goes up and that, that boom goes there and there's where, it, there's where it swivels right here. There's a the turntable bearing right here, kind of right behind the cab. I don't know why it would need to go you know, completely around because the operator can't turn with it. You know, the new ones, you, the operator turns around with it and you can kind of like that one. See the operator turn around with that one as it functions, but this, this operator stays, stays right where he is. But like everything else, they've uh, made things a lot better, a lot friendlier, operator friendly. 
All right, let's go back down there and see what else we can, information we can find about this thing. Yeah, see, uh, that must be really heavy because this has got riggers, outriggers to come down. And I'm talking about four of them. You would have to, I could see where it take a long time for him to pull up, let drop his outriggers, trim where he could reach, then pull up. And when you got these, you just drive on with it. I guess these are a lot lighter, lower center of gravity. Uh, they're not as, you can tell they're not as top heavy as this one would be. Hey, but it's got a John Deere engine in it. A 6068. That's an air compressor, so it has air hooked to it, so it's going to have air over hydraulic, uh, or might be, I don't know what they it got air over hydraulic controls or something, I'm sure. The tires don't look bad at all. It's 67 by 34 by 25. It'd be nice if they had a date. And they might be a date engraved on them to see about when it was. <laughs> Thing's got a huge hook on it. I tell you what, it's a, it has been <laughs> it has been patched and reinforced for sure. That that must be really heavy. That that's that's got to be really heavy for it to have all these outriggers on it. But it's called a clear way. Oh, there's an identification, Jacob. If you can, if your good eyes can tell you something. It was manufactured right here in Montgomery, Alabama. Clipper. Huh? And yeah. Called a yeah, Kershaw Clipper. Engine's John Deere. Yep. That wouldn't change. And it, uh, do you want another serial number? Or? Does it have a date of manufacturing on it? It'd be on the top one if it was anywhere. No date of manufacturing. Okay, there's a model number, 65, 65.4. So I was, I'm guessing that's a 65 foot reach. Them other ones are 75. Well, still don't know what year it is, but it's an older one. Let me pull around here and we'll, well, let's check the, let's check and see what it is. Let's check the, pull that oil stick while you're there. See if this thing's making on. Oh yeah. That turn it toward me. Yeah, that thing's making all. That's good. No water in it. See exhaust up there is covered well, so no water get into it. There, there, it's covered up good. It's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be open right there? Yeah, that's where it. Uh, we can spray into it. <laughs> but yeah. But actually, there was a little boot that uh, actually supposed to go over a boot, and you actually got some of the dirt out of that lid that way. So I don't know exactly what it was designed for, but yeah, it's supposed to be like that. There's the hot, there's the ground. I don't know. I tell you what, that wind is whipping, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> You want to see it there? I'm sure it probably don't have any water in it. You want to see if you can find a... What's Boy, a... howdy. It's missing a pin, I think. Uh-uh. Look at there. What is that? <laughs> nice hook to the cylinder there. That's... Wow. I think it's a little loose. 18,000 hours on it. It's supposed to wiggle. Side. But naturally, it'd be on the other side. You 
Well, I'm sure it don't. The top was open and it's rusted. It might be uh. Okay. Stop All right, we won't run it longer if it starts. Don't back off. Yeah. Yeah, this is all. This is where it all happened in that right here. That's hydraulic. It's out. Okay. This engages. Now, there's a button up there somewhere you can hit, and this will disengage the pump so the engine will spin easier without having to turn all that when it spins over. But now, how in the world are you supposed to engage the pump? How in the world are you supposed to do that if it... <clears throat> Let me rephrase myself. If it's not running, how in the world are you supposed to get that to disengage? That should be a manual. But we'll soon find out. Let's see what's behind that door at your kneecap over there. There's some more stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening right here that I have no idea about. There's the air chamber. There's what runs the air part of it. There's a like a brake air brake valve like on your trailer. Okay, here's the pins that goes, I guess, in there to lock it. Oh, lock it when you get if you wanted to jack it all the way down, those are probably there to lock it into place. Yeah, you can tell there's a been a lot of stress on it right here, broke that loose. <clears throat> it oscillates on the front I'm assuming I don't know that's John Deere axles It is a pretty neat looking machine right there, I tell you. All right, you wanna pull the truck around here? Let's throw a battery in it, and see if it even spin over. Yeah, you can tell it's been sitting a while too. The tires are kind of weathered right there. <clears throat> Clean engine. Almost looks like a power tech engine. This would be easy to put the starter button on. Uh, we, we do have to get fired the injector pump to get it to click on. I believe this is a power, what you call the power tech engine. So it's new enough, it has a power tech engine in it. And I believe they come out in the right, well, I don't even know, in the 90s maybe. We'll get this, set this one battery in it. Right there, you just set it right there. Matzo. I bought some vice grips if you need them.
Can that you turn in. that? Uh, it might already be on. Okay, that's off. That, that's on. If that key in there, if you want to click it, I'll be listening for the click back here. Huh? Nothing. I didn't hear anything. Does it have anything that look like a starter button? You got hey, did, you got what now? Okay. All right, hang on. Well, that's kind of loose right there. That might be part of the problem. May be part of the problem. I don't know what you would call them, some switches up here. I've turned one on and I heard a fan. Okay. All right, well, we're getting power to the cab then. Let's find, let me find my starter button switch. There just ain't no good way to get on this thing. No good way at all. You did something then. Yeah. I heard it bump then. Do that again. Yeah. What? Let me tighten up this ground cable. All right. And, uh... Never what you did made it made a click on it. Well, the other thing I thought was the um, starter was the AC. And I turned it off and I did it again and it worked. All right. Maybe you tightened it up a little bit. All right. See if it'll spin. Oh. Do, do it again. again? Do it again. Try it again. It's not going now. I'm wiggling the cables while you're doing that. Try it again. Okay, I see what you I see cables here. <coughs> yeah. All right, how about setting this battery that in this way? Negative this way? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. That's just the extra one, I guess. We may need it. I have to put two in it. All right, let's take this. Uh, this put one on the white wire on the starter put the other one on the of the very top where the cables are going in yeah I'll just try to put it on the small end of one of the cables right as it gets oh, yeah, yeah right in there somewhere that it'll fit you can put it across the stud if you go across you put it yeah All right, let me see no it's smoking where? Right here. Hey. You want me to... Hey, oh, 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 oh. look at that. Oh. It's not locked up. There's a chance. All right. Uh, you reckon where the fuel is on this thing? Where the, might have been, um, uh, the fuel tank. We just follow the fuel line. There's the fuel filter. There's the fuel pump. It's running this way. It was right there straight ahead of you on top. There it goes. Oh, that's... There's the fuel tank. Probably have to check it on the other side. <laughs> we won't be checking this fuel. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. 
Well, we're gonna see what we got. We'll see what we got. All right, if you want to spin it over with that starter. What you want me to, this will get it what we're doing, okay? Here it comes. Look at that smoke. Hang on. Undo that wire, Jacob. That almost worked. Are you too good hooking it up? <laughs> uh, or just. I'm thinking we had, I'm thinking we had the fuel pump on because it was white smoke, which is shocking to me. Ready? Yeah. All right, Jacob, bump that throttle back a little bit. Uh, I think you can pull it back by hand, right on top of the cable. Yeah, pull it back toward the, yeah. Yeah? A little bit more. Okay, let's see if that'll work. If not, I'm thinking this got fuel because it's smoking. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's most definitely going to run. All right, let me find the... Did we turn it back on up there? Do it like this? Come on. Come on. Look at that. Well, it was startled all the way up. Uh, Maybe up here. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's uh was it throttled? Did I throttle it up when I pulled that in? Yeah. Okay. Alright, this halfway now. See if it'll do something now. Oh. Right, let's touch your hot and see what happens. Did it click? Yes, sir, it's clicking. Okay. All right. Hold it on there. Let's see. I'm just going to hit the... And if it runs, you can... When you when you do the... Let's see if that was a problem. All right. Oh, yeah, I got to turn the key on. That, that is the key. When, you, when you're doing that, that's what turning the pump on. Right here, it's 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 smoking, so it's it's on. Let me find some uh, ether. All right, let's see if you can pull out your side. That won't come off. It's stuck to the yeah. I guess that's the whole filter gonna come out. That's impossible. Okay. Good gracious, Ola. I'll try that again. Sure didn't give much room there, I can tell you that. And they built that. That's good enough right there, Jacob. I just needed a place to, to that I can put the thing through the breather. Gotcha. Yeah. Get it through right there. Ready? Ready. I hear it clicking when you do that. So something's that's clicking it on. Ready? Yeah. That was it, wasn't it? It's running. There comes that rigger down. Watch your foot.
Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my phone in. Alright, let's see if we can do it one more time. You want me to spray? No, it should it should crank right up. Steer. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find the blade? See if it'll move forward. Hey. See if it'll move. See if it moves up. There it goes. There it goes. Go backwards. Come on, what up? Huh? Go backwards. I right, see if that'll move. I know it's out of the hydraulic coil. Just hold it back. Nothing. It's all right. And parking brake. Now do it. Now hit the roller. Now see if it'll move. You just hit the air. I put it in high. Huh? I put it in high. No, put it low. Well, that's what made it bump. I put it in high. Hey. Let's turn it off. Let's not run no motor hot. We don't run the right hot. Well, I am totally impressed that this engine started that like it did. If Jacob gets back up there, I'm going to get him to. How about putting that back on it? Back on. Yeah, back on the hot top up, up there where you had it. On the, yeah. You can probably just hold it to it, but what I want to do is check the blow by on the engine. So take that oil filler cap off. No, not that would have worked, but the other one where you pour it in. Yeah.
That's what you take that off. All right. Just get it where it don't fall right in your way. I'm just checking for blow by. So when we. All right, you ready? What? That's all right on the oil, but it don't have any blow by. <laughs> I wouldn't even film it. Well, we was checking the blow by in it, and it's not unusual to see the oil come out of the the filler thing, so I, I don't, that don't mean anything. I guess it means it's just slinging it. But uh, was no, wasn't any blow by. Uh, I'm telling you, we didn't check the fuel. We didn't, we didn't hardly do anything. We didn't even pump the fuel up. Once we got the uh, solenoid hot on the, once we got it primed up, we got the solenoid hot on the, on the injector pump. Yeah, Y'all seen what happened? It fired right up. Okay. Hey, it's for sale. Uh, I think they'd like $6,500, which is worth $6,500. Engine will be worth $5,000. The tires have got to be worth two. But you got to pull the engine and all that. Uh, there's some things on here that uh, could be worth some money to you. It is really and truly, it is a a unique piece of looking equipment. If you're interested in it, just hit me email. Jacob have it in the description below. Thank y'all for watching. And remember, don't be wily.